Hi, this is Lawrence from The Wrap, and joining me are the stars of Bravo's upcoming series, Luann and Sonia. Welcome to Crappy Lake, and welcome Sonia Morgan and Luann de la Seps. Thank you. Hi, Lawrence. Great to be here with you. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I actually learned in doing my research for the show that it's pronounced Crappy Lake and not Crappy Lake. That's and right. That it's actually, and it's actually not a location, but a series of lakes. You're actually filming in a town called Benton, Illinois. Did you know anything about that that town before you started going there? Does anybody know anything about Benton, Illinois? And what I say, but that's right. The crappie fish is well known there, and they lovingly call their lake Crappy Lake because the fish are kind of crappy. You need fifty of these little fish to make one sandwich. <laughs> no, it's um, it's uh, I catch a catfish in that lake, so you know, and it was this big with my bare hands, so. <laughs> That's a moment I'll never forget. Uh, and bigger and bigger. Let's put it that way. So we went in with open hearts and open minds. Sonny and I are both, you know, love trotters and we love adventurers. And uh, when they asked us to do the show, you know, we we didn't know what to expect. And I we say that often about starting a new season of Housewives. It's like you just never know, right? You can't like pre-calculate what's going to happen because you just don't know what's going to happen. So just, you know, we went in, you know, with our kind of blindfolded and... Uh, we were really pleasantly surprised about how wonderful the people were and, you know, how much they needed our, our help in terms of, uh, you know, getting this town back to, you know, what it used to be after after COVID. Well, there's only, they have less than 7,000 people. So you can imagine the town got really small real quick. We, you know, we met with the garden club and we went over to the animal shelter. We built a playground for children. Yeah, we, we really got around quickly. We did a lot in a short time. Yeah, we did, you know, a variety show, the Benton Follies. Um, you know, we, we helped you know, get the motel in better shape. You yeah. know, the motel was really needed some, you know, Searching. some Luann and Sonia. Yes. So yeah. Luann and Sonia, yeah. definitely. So we had our, our work cut out for us and we literally spent, you know, all of our time working on all of these duties that we were tasked with by the mayor, you know, and we worked really hard. And I think we really made an epic difference over there. Fish out of water, kind of, even though we are small town girls and we're used to getting our hands dirty. I mean, you ask Luann to get in a bucket and go up and whack a tree and she's there. You ask her to get in a mud and truck with big wheels, she's in it. So we, we were up for everything and the town was very receptive and very grateful really nice people. Yeah, I can't believe, I Google mapped Benton, Illinois before this interview. It is tiny. The <laughs> airport is literally 1.5 miles away from your hotel and everything is just literally off the main street. It is That's really right. one of these American main street towns. Now, um, you mentioned, you know, you're fish out of the, uh, fish out of water, but you literally were fish in the water in yeah. our very first episode where they took you noodling and Luann, Noodle you talked about then. Yeah, catching the catfish. How was it sticking your hand in the catfish's mouth? And uh, what was right. that well, she didn't do it first of all. I, right. I I was the sporty one of the of the duo, and you know there was a young girl who was kind of a catfish, you know, instructor Wrangler, of sorts, yeah. and she'd been doing it since she's a kid. And she's like, you know, you know, we petted a catfish before because you know they're very ugly, scary looking little fish. I mean, big fish, I should say, and. You know, and you have to grab them by the jaw and grab them by the tail in order to get them out of these barrels there on the ground. And I wrestled this catfish to get him out. And I tell you, uh, <laughs> I'm amazed that I even got this thing because they're so slippery and slimy and gross that, um, it, you know, I certainly was not expecting that. You know, that you asked me, what was I, you know, what was I maybe trepidatious about? I mean, if I had known, I would have been trepidatious about getting a catfish. Yeah. yeah. Does it does it grasp your your hand when it you? It can. It can. Yeah. Like a really big mouth. It doesn't have teeth, but it has a Literally. strong jaw. And you know. That's have teeny teeth, and yeah. that guy didn't have a finger. It does have teeny teeth. Then somebody lost it. I was very. He had no. Finger. Yeah. I. Yeah. Anyway, they didn't really tell us about that. Right. People pay to do this, by the way. As the unofficial ambassadors to Benton, outside of Noodlin and Mudlin, what else would you say is a must do? And of course, visiting the park that you you guys did. But uh, oh, no, what no. else is a must do? Is is the barn bar a must do? Yeah. Oh, we yeah. have go to that and and put your drawers up on the ceiling <laughs> and grab somebody and make an exit real quick. 
Well, most people are married there, so but now you must go to the firehouse. I have to tell you. Yeah, I have I'm... to say those gentlemen, some of the married husbands were not bad looking guys, and well, then, um... I mean, I know that you all respect the marriage. Oh but, yeah, um, you know. In, in addition, the, I love the y'all part of that. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's a must? We we did that. a lot of flirting, I think fishing. We had a lot of fun uh, fishing, mudding, monster truck. Oh, monster! Oh, the rodeo! Oh, wait, the festival. Festival. Um, you don't need to do that. Well, I don't know. Should do the festival. It's something to see. We had horseback riding at the festival. We also did some barreling. Yes. They have a rodeo. They have a card race. A lot. We did Christmas in July, which yeah, is a lot of fun. I had never done Christmas in July. First of all, I never heard of Christmas in July. So it was like, what do you mean? We dress up in Santa outfits. I mean, what? And uh, we made their town look like Fifth Avenue. I mean, I it was an easy thing. So, you know. Very big treat. Yeah. <laughs> Lou goes big or goes home. Well, one thing about the, the town that is uh, undeniable is the heat and the humidity. It was... 90 degrees, I think, on average when you were there. 90 degree humidity. How was that? Because I I used to live in Manhattan. I know that the buildings trap the heat, but it's it's next uh, level. In but, let's be fair, uh, but let's be fair. We were there off season. And a lot of the people that live there do travel in July to go elsewhere. Because that is their off season. So they're used to having hunters come in November and people pay to go deer shooting and all that. And that's why they stay in the motel. So, yeah, it yeah. was hot. It was next level it hot. Or panty day most days. And... They'd, and and the car they gave us to roll in didn't have air conditioning, um, so it was like driving around a tin can. Yeah. And um, and it's the only place I know where if it rains, it doesn't get any cooler. It yeah. just gets hotter. It just gets hot rain. Tarmac or wherever you call it. Like hot rain. It's like not refreshing. It's pretty crazy. I mean, black top. Yeah, yeah. So that was a challenge. And the dumpster at the motel became our friend, but then when it was so hot. Yeah. The flies. Oh. Well, because we were doing renovations there, so we were constantly loading up that dumpster. Have you guys ever seen um, Schitt's Creek? Because you were very much in the kind of Schitt's Creek situation. I love Moira. Yeah. Yeah. This is my Moira. Your real life Moira. She puts her makeup on. I mean, makeup with my stupid necklace. I come out with one set of eyelashes on. I got to start my day. I love it. I love it. Well, not only did you sample the local customs, but you did at least flirt with the local men. How are they different from the men in Manhattan? They're real men. I'm just sorry. Sorry. And I did I did take inventory in this city, as you know. Yes. Uh, the men down there, let me just tell you, they know what they're doing. Real men. Wow. Like some of these metrosexuals that are in New York, I don't know what they do. Some of these guys can't even get it up. You know, I'm telling you. Down there, well, the you know, we went mudding with those two guys, and then we went yeah. to with them after. Just to give you an example, and you know, they, we're full of mud, etc. And this, you know, this is what they do. They love this. They compete with their big monster trucks. And she got yeah. a text from one guy she had a crush on. He's so cute, and he's sitting on his sofa looking at the fireplace in July, and he sends yeah. a picture of his dirty, muddy jeans and socks. And she goes, "So, how's he look?" And I'm like, "Some people sexing." Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was it's, it's rugged. It's, it's rugged. rugged. Right? So he wanted yeah. to show up how much mud he did that day. Yeah. Anyway, so we meet them for dinner after, and they show up in you know button-down shirts, and we're like, "Wow, you guys clean up very well." And he goes, "I only wear shirts like this for church and funerals and court." We almost fell off my chair. That was hurting. And you know what though? They they had never been to a restaurant. They, I said, "Where do yeah. you normally go? What do you do?" They don't know. Go to restaurants. They don't go to restaurants. I, like I said, I Google mapped it. There's a Dairy Queen, yeah, and a KFC, yeah. and I think maybe a Denny's, and that's it. So Did you KFC, I do. I, I I do love KFC. Sonic burgers every day as a yeah. backup in case I didn't like what I ordered with the you know through the crew. There yeah. are a lot of good restaurants hand out. We have a couple minutes left. You just came back from another vacation. I know that you can't talk about it too much, but it, Real House lives up in New York legacy. Can you at least tell me in three words, we'll start with you, Sonia, what that trip was like, and then we'll hear from Luann. Three, three adjectives to describe reuniting with your castmates. Well, three words. Can I just tell you? I just, I yes. felt like I was home. I, you oh. know, to be with Luann and Ramona, we're such good friends and we go way back. And we run the same circles. And then to have Dorinda again, you know, it was just so wonderful. Yeah. And mine are Scary Island Part 2. Yeah. So, that's, that's a good tease. Obviously, Real Houses of New York is rebooting. 
and you're not going to be filming in the same kind of frequency or you haven't been filming in the same frequency will you miss that regularity of the regular show or will you kind of prefer or do you prefer the, the trip Honestly, I gotta tell you, I love doing the, you know, the nine days and, and you get, what, 10 episodes or whatever. Crappy Lake, we're gonna have, what, how many episodes look great? I like it. I Yeah. Because we were spending five months of our life Good. filming in New York where you can do these little shorter trips and yeah, well, you were a series. You know, uh, let's see what happens. You know, we've yeah. got we've got the new cast coming out. We've got the legacy trip and... You know, you never know what's going to happen. We certainly didn't expect it to go the way it did. Um, but we got, you know, the Olive Branch, which was, we got our own show. So we're thrilled about that. It's, you know, right up right up our alley. You know, we get to, you know, be in, in doing reality, but at the same time, helping people and doing comedy along the way. So we're thrilled about this new project. And we hope to go to towns across America to help other, you know, other mayors and other states. Even, um legacy you know we went to same parts but the ogs now the ogs do like to travel don't they so you know i can see them you know sending the og housewives of new york to different places as well so i just think you know you got to change with the times and um we're embracing this new chance that we have to change and the audiences are so happy to see you last question for you because you're not filming with such regularity it has opened you up to do some of your own personal projects so tell me what's next for you yeah. uh, and you're going back on tour right and then Sonia i'm going back on tour yeah with countess cabaret this fall with a new show so i'm super excited to get back on the road and sonia what what do you have coming up for yourself well i've had this free time as well from filming so i've been able to you know increase my tour of sonia in your city i had started it on Real Housewives of New York before COVID. So finally, I'm getting to do that. I'm going to lay down another 15 cities nationwide. And I'm just really excited to see what comes of Crappy Lake and also, you know, being with my OGs. Yeah. I'm up for another trip with those girls. We love to see you guys in New York and out of New York. Congratulations on the new shows. Thank and you. we look forward to seeing all of you on our screens very soon. Thanks so much, ladies. Thank you, Lawrence.